An attack caught on camera between a security guard and a tenant. The renter is hurled to the floor. As far as anyone can tell, there was no threat that led to the throwdown. The door woman was arrested for battery, but what happened next? CBS 2's Lauren Victory is always investigating and dives into the case. I can't breathe. I'm screaming. Somebody please call the police. Diamond Jenkins recaps the terrifying incident that left her with an arm in a sling and a leg that needs the support of a cane. She's saying, give me your phone. Uh, give me your phone. It may sound like a robbery happened here at 100 West Chestnut in Chicago, but nothing was stolen. Let's rewind a few minutes on this surveillance video to set the scene. In the bottom left corner, notice a front desk attendant. They had specific duties guarding the door making sure uh, no threats came in. The River North building, operated by planned property management, is usually pretty quiet. Jenkins lived here since she was a little girl, 26 years. Then rent got too high. Which brings us back to the footage. It's move out day for Jenkins and her family. That's her in the red shirt. I'm on the phone with my mom. She's like, um, well, do you see the truck? Do you see the truck? I'm looking outside. Suddenly, the door woman rounds the desk and gets up close and personal with the tenant. She tries to put me in a chokehold more than once before she finally gets me in the actual chokehold. The tussle ends with Jenkins thrown to the ground. And my head hits the floor. I'm dizzy. Um, I'm trying to make out, like, did this just happen? Like, I, I'm shocked. Jenkins says she had unpleasant interactions with the same guard who was employed by Titan Security Group before, but things never got physical. CBS 2 reviewed the incident over and over. There's no audio, but from what you see on video, nothing Jenkins does supports a forceful throwdown. You know, I'm crying, I'm dizzy, I'm nauseous, my head's hurting. Chicago police arrested the Titan Security Group employee for battery. Does she still work for the company? Did she get reprimanded in any way? Wish we could tell you, but Titan Security Group only told us no comment. I'm hoping that she wouldn't come this far. Jenkins also wasn't told what happened to the door woman. Because of that, she asked to meet in a public park. I mostly am just kind of scared and paranoid that she's going to come and find me. She's being treated for post-traumatic stress disorder on top of lingering physical injuries related to a concussion and swelling. Planned Property Management, or PPM, boasts 3,700 apartments on its website. CBS2 asked repeatedly, what is PPM doing to make sure no other tenant or guest is subject to this sort of behavior? We also wondered if PPM plans to cover any of Jenkins' medical bills. Here's one for $5,500 for the emergency room visit on the day of the assault. Then there's the cost of ongoing physical therapy. Planned property management, like Titan Security Group, didn't answer our questions. Jenkins is left in limbo. So is the public. Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. Jenkins says she hasn't received any apology or checking calls from PPM or Titan Security Group. The throwdown happened more than three months ago. The Cook County State's Attorney's Office confirms an ongoing battery case against the guard who is identified as Ella Williams.